Hi guys and welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today a very exciting video as I will show you how to get the best most optimized audio for your Pico 4 because of course there is no 3.5 mm jack so what are you to do if you want really crystal clear audio and super immersive experiences when you are in VR. Now the actual audio speakers themselves are not too bad but you know sometimes we want more privacy and we don't necessarily wish to disturb others who are around us of course and you just want to feel much more immersed inside of VR. So there are two different ways to do this which I'm going to bring forward today in the video but do hang out until the end of the video as I will give you more in-depth detail and information at the end itself as well as for example you can use a USB PC to 3.5 mm jack and also Bluetooth headphones or earbuds. But what are the noticeable differences? This is what we're going to talk about today. When should you use the Bluetooth earbuds and when should you use the USB C to 3.5 mm jack with your Pico 4? All right, so let me show you first of all how to set up your Bluetooth inside of the Pico and then I'm going to show you some side by side comparison with the audio as to the differences between the 3.5 USB C adapter using the headphone jack and also the Bluetooth technology. All right, let's go. All right, so we're inside of the Pico now. So all we can do is go to library, uh, then go to settings and then go to Bluetooth. And then if I take out my Bluetooth headphones, normally the actual device should find my headphones. All right, there we go. So it has found my actual Bluetooth headphones here, the Noir N6 Mini. So let's just click on that. And then you have another pop-up that says pair device. All right, there we go. All right, so first of all, let's try out with 11 Table Tennis. Very cool app, by the way. All right, now let's try with Ultimax and hear the difference. All right, so you could definitely tell that there was a lot of delay there in the actual sound. So the delays generally is between one to about two seconds or so. But again, it will depend on the brand of headphones that you're using. And also some brands are just not gonna be compatible. So some brands will be better, some brands will be more latency, and some brands just won't work altogether, as I just mentioned. Now, I have to admit that when I was watching a movie, however, Everything was fine, uh, especially when I was watching the YouTube browser, with the Pico browser uh, going online and then, you know, watching the various different videos there. Everything was working okay. The mouse seemed to be, you know, the sound was the same as the mouth moving. There's no delays there. So it's possible that the delays of the latency increases based on the actual RAM power that the headset needs to use in order to well, power the game, so it's very much that simple. However, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the 3.5 mm jack, and I'm just going to, basically, it's very simple. All you have to do is take your headphone jack, 
take the 3.5 mm jack, just put it in here, and then this part, which is a USB-C uh, part for the actual headset, all we have to do, of course, is plug it into the USB-C port here, put it in, boom. And then normally there shouldn't be any latency whatsoever. So let's play a couple tapes again, just so you get to see the differences between, you know, the Bluetooth and also no Bluetooth, and do go back and forth in the video, you know, to, to compare more for you and leave some comments below, of course, to let me know whether you have the same, um, you know, the same experience as I do, or whether after you finally bought the USB-C, did it really make a world of difference for you? Comment below, love to know, you know, your feedback. And also if you don't have the same experience and it's much better for you, let us know in the comments below the brand of Bluetooth earbuds that you might be using. All right, let's roll the tape. All right, so as you can tell, I have the USB-C with the 3.5 mm jack adapter here put on, and we're just going to do some table tennis to start off with. So I just don't want to hit my wheel. There we go, let's start playing. Yeah, now the sound is much, much better. Every time that I actually hit the ball on the racket, as you can tell, it is synchronized to the actual objects that are colliding together and it feels much much more immersive for me as a player of course and of course i can adjust the volume by going to the side and clicking on the plus there we go and making it louder this way and the sound in um, 11 table tennis vr i have to say is quite good because all the objects that are near you you'll definitely hear the ball much louder when it's right near you and then when it goes to the other end of the table then you hear it still of course but just not as much as when it's completely in front of you which provides this kind of spatial sound 3d spatial sound and atmosphere to the game making it even more interactive and more immersive which is really really fantastic and by the way isn't the ai doing a great job i mean 11 table tennis is by the way a very social game you can play with other people online your friends your family your co-workers or complete make new friends from all over the world of course you don't have to be in the same room or in the same building to play with other people they could be from other parts of the world which is amazing all right let's do another test now with ultimex all right guys so we're inside of ultimex as you can see here let me just go into quick view mode there we go as you can see here i have my 3.5 mm jack to the USB C adapter on my headset i'm just going to give you my feedback as to how everything looks and feels inside of the actual game so let's play and then let's go to the training and let's go to tutorial there we go let it load all right, because there are some noticeable differences, of course, in terms of audio cues and so, and also, excuse me, in terms of audio uh, comfort itself, because actually what you're going to see is, well, hopefully it's easier for me to play because now I can actually have the audio cues when I'm actually playing. So the first thing is I'm going to up the volume. Of course, we can do this by going to the side of where the speakers are and then just pressing on the plus or minus there. And look at this, this is the first noticeable difference between earlier with the Bluetooth speakers and the audio. When it comes back, straight away the audio comes in and tells me that the jet is clicking back inside of its socket as to where it's supposed to go. Earlier, if you go back and re-listen to the actual footage, you'll notice that when I did this, it actually occurred later, which was about one to two seconds after. And this really, to me, honestly speaking, does break the immersion. So let's try this. Let's see how the audio responds here. Straight away, bang, bang. You know, when it hit the dart, the, the board, and you, you had the particle effect, and then you had the sound of bang. It was instantaneous, no waiting whatsoever. Same thing here. Same thing here, everything just feels so much more immersive because the audio cues are telling me what is happening straight away. I don't have to wait for the sound or pretend that there's no sound, let's say, because it really messes up with the brain. And it really, you know, to me, it just really breaks the immersion totally. 
Now I feel like I'm completely immersed inside of the actual game. I'm in my own little world. I'm in my little private Lazarus VR Essentials VR world and the world just cannot disturb me. And it's also much easier to do these kind of exercises because I have the audio cues telling me when it's actually going through as opposed to the visuals telling the brain where it's going through. Sometimes for me it's easier to hear something than to see it. Although here, not so much. Let's try again. That was pretty pathetic. There we go. We got it straight away. Let's go up. Boom. So yeah, it really helps me to play, really helps me to know where to go, where to, how soon to change the position, how fast or the velocity of the position, and you know, all these kinds of different things. The audio really, really does help me a lot. Oop, although it did really help me there. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty fun. Let's see if we can move it. There we go, it's gone back. Boom. All right, there we go, now we got it. So yeah, same thing, the goal straight away feels very immersive. Oh, I missed it, never mind. It just feels so much more immersive, it's pretty cool, I have to admit. Oh, missed it again. Oh, almost. I do love this game, I have to say, but at the end of the day, it just feels much, much more immersive for me. It's just much more fun. And also, even though the audio themselves of the actual Pico itself aren't too bad, I have to say that, you know, nothing beats a good pair of headphones or a good pair of earbuds, right? Hey guys, it would be really cool to know what kind of head, hair buds or headphones you use using a wire in the comments below as well. Um, you know, as well as of course Bluetooth, but in terms of wires, what kind of microphone setup do you have? What kind of headphone setup do you have? What kind of gaming rig do you have? It'd be really good to know. All right, so let's summarize everything now. I'm just gonna take off the headset. So as you could tell, there were definitely some noticeable differences between using the Bluetooth technology as well as versus the 3.5 mm USB-C jack adapter when using the headphones. Now there are pros and there are cons to both. When do you use the Bluetooth? Well, perhaps you could use it when you're using the Pico browser, watching some YouTube videos or other kind of videos using the browser, as well as the actual theater, watching movies there as well. Simply because I don't think the headset is using a lot of power, therefore, as I mentioned before, that's probably why there's no lip issue or lip syncing issues. Everything is pretty much one-to-one. -one. However, when you're using the USB-C 3.5 mm jack, well, I mean, the differences for me are zero to none. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. The sound is so immersive. It's so one to one. There's no latency whatsoever. I just feel like I'm inside of the world. There's just nothing disturbing me. No anything. And the other thing that I noticed with the Bluetooth headphones, by the way, is I noticed some crackling in the sound as well from time to time. So let us know in the comments below what kind of brands are you using? Do you have any issues? Or, you know, are you very happy with your Bluetooth headphones? Let us know in the comments below. And also, it is possible that some apps, for example, Angry Birds, you know, they don't use a lot of RAM. So perhaps it's okay. Let us know in the comments below if there's any Bluetooth apps, you know, Bluetooth um, if you are experiences that you you were playing that didn't have any issues, but then they had issues with other VR experiences. So let us know in the comments below what worked, what didn't work for you. That would really be helpful for the community moving forward if you, of course, do own a Pico 4 and you purchase some of the apps. And of course, the apps that I showcased today, Ultimax is free. Do test it also and let me know whether you had any issues, whether it was the same or not. It'd be really helpful to know. Now, the pro, of course, with the 3.5 mm and the USB-C adapter, it's the fact that, as I mentioned, there's no latency whatsoever. However, the con is you have the cable, and this cable is pretty long, as you could, you know, as you can tell, it is pretty long. And yeah, that's a lot of cable. And I have to put it inside of my shirt, or I have to wrap it around somehow. So these kind of things, you know, sometimes it, it's not very convenient. So the question is, do you go for the convenience of the Bluetooth, but you have the latency, or do you go for the inconvenience of having the cable, but then, you know, you feel much more immersive inside of VR. For example, do you find it annoying when, you know, leave a comment below, let us know, do you find it annoying when you're playing 
a game and you have the latency and it's not one to one, does it break the immersion for you? Or you don't really care, you know, it's not so much that much of a bigger deal for you. But for others, for me, for example, it is very much a bigger deal. I would much rather put this cable inside of my shirt, although I would probably use another set of earbuds, not necessarily these ones, um, you know, in order to go with my VR experience so that the, sh the cable is actually shorter and I can just wrap it around a little bit and then it just goes there or it goes a little bit inside of my shirt. It's not so much a cable of course. So let us know in the comments below what audio earbuds or, you know, audio uh, head headphones you use that have the cable as well that you found is pretty useful, gives you really good audio quality, but then also at the same time, uh, wasn't, you know, was quite convenient, didn't have so much cabling. Love to know that because I'd love to get a pair myself, to be honest with you, and promote those on the channel. So guys, do go and look back, as I mentioned before, to compare with the Bluetooth and also with the USB-C 3.5 mm jack adapter to compare and contrast and see the differences there in terms of the sound before you go out and purchase something, you know, I think it's going to be pretty helpful for you. But again, do hit those likes, smash those likes if it is helpful for you. And, you know, of course, do hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I will upload more content to the channel. Until then, do watch the video on the left or the one on the right. I will see you in another video very soon. See you later, guys. Bye for now.